Hey guys and welcome to In Two Minutes. Now it's time to sound the news klaxon. There we go, because there's a brand new game studio opening. And you know, we're so used to hearing about them getting eh, that it's a pleasant surprise when a new one pops up. Especially one that's got as big a name as Jade Raymond attached to it. The former Ubisoft boss announced on Monday that she was partnering with EA and has founded a new studio called Motive. Which got me thinking. That's a really great move for her. It's a great thing for EA. And it's a great thing for us, the gamers. So, here's why. Jade is a renowned figure in the games industry and has worked in a variety of roles over a number of years. Starting as a programmer at Sony, she shifted focus to become a producer on The Sims Online before moving to Ubisoft to become a producer on the original Assassin's Creed and exec producer on its critically acclaimed sequel. Following that, she went on to become the managing director of Ubisoft's Toronto studio, which led development on Splinter Cell Blacklist and contributed to various Assassin's Creed titles, Rainbow Six and Far Cry. It's clear she has plenty of experience managing blockbuster franchises and delivering high-quality AAA games. But since leaving Ubisoft in October last year, she's broadened her horizons and worked with a whole host of indie studios, so she's clearly got some ideas beyond running along rooftops and hiding in the dark. In fact, in her first EA blog post, not only does Jade use the word idating, ideating? However you say it, it's 10 points in Scrabble if you're wondering. She also mentions that her studio will be working on new IP. So armed with her management skills of blockbuster triple a projects, coupled with her insight into how smaller indie studios nurture interesting new ideas, her fresh start at EA is an incredibly exciting prospect for the publisher and for us. EA is re-establishing itself as a gamer-first company, and it's doing a respectable job. But let's face it, for the past few years, EA has still leaned heavily on sequels, sports games, and turning everything into a big shooty extravaganza. But EA's next lineup of games is showing some signs of change. Amidst its usual lot, such as FIFA and other sports ball titles, it's also backing the critical darling but commercial eh Mirror's Edge. And meanwhile, the adorable platformer Unravel got a significant amount of stage time at this year's E3. So the fact that Motive is pitching itself as a creative driven team and not one that will pick up sequels is a great thing for all of us. EA's perceived public image may not be the greatest, but this new balance of releasing fan favorites while actively investing in different concepts and new IP could mean that EA is the first major publisher to find that ideal balance between new and old. And despite me saying all of that, EA's biggest game this year is, um, Star Wars. However, with Raymond's new studio dedicated to working on original ideas, and with EA showing signs of backing more unconventional projects, the future for the publisher is looking less predictable. And when was the last time you could say that about a major publisher? So while it's a little premature to get excited about the quality of games that are going to be coming out of Motive, I'm really optimistic for their placement within EA's structure. And they're in the same building as the Mass Effect Andromeda guys, so I'm really hoping that something magical comes out of there. Anyway, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you not care at all? Let me know in the comments section below. That's all I've got for you this week. Be sure to catch me on Twitter at LucyJamesGames. I'll see you next time.